Greetings and salutations, Charlton66 here again with another video. Um, I know it's been kind of crazy. I hope everyone's doing well. Um, everyone's been hunkered down, I know. And I uh, hope everyone, like I said, is doing well and have what they need and um, are not worrying about things as much as possible. I know it's difficult, you know, with what's going on, but it's 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 crazy. Um, where I'm at, uh, Maryland, they've locked everything down. Um, can't really uh, do all that much. Except for essential type stuff. And I know it's like that. It's like that way with a, with a lot of places, a lot of individuals. Um, I hope uh, people are um, not worried about their jobs and that kind of thing. And, and, I know it's difficult to say that because I know people have, you know, one of the jobs are going to go, people are looking retail and private sector and everything else when they got to shut down. So hope everyone's hanging in there. Um, you know, nothing I'm really going to do to cheer anybody up with this video. It's, it's just one of those things that I just figured I'll do a video that gave me an idea. Kyle Rowe finally did a video for a long period of time. I miss seeing his videos. Um, Another Man's Trash. Um, uh, always great to um, to listen to him and watch his videos. He finally made one the other day. Very, although, it's, albeit it is short, it's a short video, he kind of gave what he was doing, what he was reading during this lockdown time. And I figured, why not? I won't do the same thing. Um, gave me, he gave me an idea. I'm going to run with it. Um, things I've been doing to occupy my time. Um, us who are collect comic books, who are in the hobby, who's in the, who's in this 100%, won't have an issue to find something to do, um, other than worry. Which hopefully your collection and and the hobby, hopefully take a few minutes, read some comics and. Put you in another different place a better place in time but um you know we got a lot to do got a lot to read um anyone who collects something has something to do with their collection so i'm already almost three minutes into this i just um want to talk about what i've been doing um luckily i just recently retired so um going to work is not really something that i have to do um uh so I don't have to worry about, you know, facing what's out there, uh, the uncertainties and everything else. So I got a lot going on here at home. Um, some of the stuff I've been reading, um, I'm a big uh, Cymac fan. I think that's how you say his last name. I've never heard it pronounced, but um, time and again, I'm reading that right now, which is a very good book. I got an original printing, um, 1951. Um, uh which is a, it's a, it's a good story. My dad was a big fan and um, a lot of the stories I heard from him and he he read these until until his last days here. Um, so I'm reading that currently. Um, comic book wise, um, uh, I I went to the comic book store yesterday cuz they're going to go on lockdown the the, the issue the order was 5 o'clock tomorrow or well, yesterday rather, I'm sorry. Everything needed to be shut down by five o'clock. So I went to my local comic book store to got what was in to get what was in my my pull list. Um, that stack right there and right there. I'm glad I went. It was ninety six dollars worth of stuff, and I'm kind of glad I went because it gives him a little bit of revenue and gets stuff cleared out for him, my my shop owner. Um, so you know, I'm glad I went. They did curbside service. You pay for your order online and not online on the phone, and they come to you, drop off to your car, and you roll out. And I had my got my books. Um, I got a lot of stuff to read. I didn't really need to go per se, but I wanted to give him some revenue because I know it's going to be closing up for, for indefinitely until this thing is over with. So I went there and got those books. Um, but I got another stack of recent books to to go over. It's just kind of pathetic, but <laughs> that stack that's that's right there. All those paperbacks are full of recent issues. 
um, that I haven't got a chance to read yet because I've been reading my older books and and the stuff I'm getting ready to show now. Uh, I'm reading this, which is very good. Um, superhero weird, super weird heroes. My boy Nature Boy on the front here from Charlton, um, but this goes over strange and peculiar heroes um, uh, from from Yo books. Anything Yo does is is awesome. So Greg Yo, but um, it's just got some good stuff in here. Um, text pieces about certain characters, certain heroes, and of course. Um, Vintage and it's on flat paper. We don't have that glossy um, Reflection which is very cool when you got to read that I'm also reading um, which I showed this before but I'm finally getting around to read it Golden Age Westerns um, Which is a very cool book. I like the bullet holes in The front and this is by PH press powerhouse books um, but a lot of it's Charlton um they give, uh, except for, I think that's pretty much Gene Opie right there, though. Right by my finger right there. Um, got a lot of Charlton stuff in this, so I'm reading this now. Um, you know, take a story here, read a story there. And this is, uh, this is pretty good, too. First Wave of Superheroes, uh, Superman. Uh, first wave of comic book here was 1936 to 1941. Um, this is by, um, who's this by? It says FB on the side. Fantagraphics. I never saw the FB printed that way, so I'm um, usually with a lower case. Um, but it's got tons of Golden Age stuff in here, which is a uh, silver streak right there. Um, which is very cool to have. Got Daredevil on the back. So, I've been reading that um, along with my Simac book. Um, also been catching up. I'm seven minutes into this, so I can tell you I've been listening to music as well. Big record collector. Uh, I don't, not like comic books. I'm nowhere near um, collecting records like I do comics. But I do collect records. I've been um, tearing this up most last couple of weeks zombies um the first five or the only i think it's the only five studio records that the zombies did um nice box set got on the turntable now um excellent um the like the zombies excellent collection of of, of of music um they did it in mono which was awesome um i prefer that on the older music um than them trying to redigitize everything and put things in stereo that wasn't made to be in stereo. So it's kind of kind of nice to hear. And one of the things I've been waiting, uh, this was two years in the making. Um, not too many people are familiar with this group. Um, I'd be surprised if anyone who subscribes to me know who Leibach is. Um, but this box set um, that came out uh, about a month ago, it was two years in the making. I ordered this thing two years ago. And they finally were able to get the box set together. I'm not going to really take it apart and show you what's inside. But um, I've been listening to this. I'm a big Leibach fan. Um, have most of their stuff. Um, I got some stuff on the newer stuff on 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 record and and CD as well. But this is phenomenal uh, box set. It's very expensive. It came all the way from Yugoslavia where they're from. Um, it was put together very nicely. It was well worth the wait. Um, you know, us collectors will wait forever for something to come out. Um, but Leibach is a band that I really, really enjoy. Um, and the, there's a comic book connection with Leibach. Um, any red who, anyone who's Red Kingdom come, I know there's a character um, kind of like it wasn't a throwaway character, but he's one of the super the hero, but he's really a bad guy. But he was the hero. You know how Kingdom Come is the heroes have gotten out of hand and they're really doing things and not really what heroes do. But anyway, there was a character in there called Von Bach, and he had on his chest, tattooed on his chest, this the cross, um, not the figure within the cross, but this cross was tattooed on his chest. And he had love and hate tattooed on his arms. 
and he wore um, the singer, the lead singer for Leibach, was a um, some type of headdress um, that that he wears. Um, some historical significance. I don't know what it is, but von Bach and the comic book of Kingdom Come wore that as well. And um, he had jodhpurs on and boots and had the cross leather. Anyone who's read Kingdom Come know can look in that book. I couldn't find my, I was looking through my collection. I couldn't find where my Kingdom Comes are at to show you what he looks like, what he looks like but he's on the cover of one of the of one of the issues um Levon Bach is and I knew it was related to Leibach I, I knew it just by looking at the character and how he was dressed and the cross on his chest so when I met Alex Ross when that they did a tour him and Mark Wade did a signing tour of I think one two and three were out four has not come out yet at that time um and they did a signing tour and I met them uh in this comic book shop at a mall. It was a big deal. You had to get a lottery ticket and wait in line. And it was a big, big deal. But the only question I wanted to ask Alex Ross was Von Bach taken from, from Leibach. I just wanted the confirmation. I knew it was. I just wanted to hear it from him. And in fact, he said it was. And, and he said he listened to this album. Um, I can't say. It's in, it's in um, Yugoslavian, but it's, I can't. I just call it baptism, but um, this CD is what Ox Ross said he listened to while he was doing um, Kingdom Come. So I thought that was very, very cool. Um, very, uh, you know, it's very much in my wheelhouse knowing that this industrial band, this obscure industrial band, Leibach, got influenced in, the, you know, influenced a comic book creator to create a character in, 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 in the mainstream comic book. And I thought that was very cool. And if you have a chance to listen to Andy Leibach, um, it is a soundtrack to Kingdom Come. I mean, there's an album called Capital um, that I think is a is a great soundtrack for, for Kingdom Come. Um, but anyway, that's what I've been up to. Uh, I know not too many people are interested. It doesn't make anyone's life better. But you know, I'm hunkered down, just reading comics, um, trying to organize some books. I, like I said, I picked up all those comic books yesterday. Um, I'm so far behind. I just finally caught up on Daredevil and um, Guardians of the Galaxy. I finally caught up. I was like six issues behind on each. So a lot was going on with those with those comics. I do enjoy them. Not a lot. Not a lot of people know. I do collect recent books. I do keep a I want to keep my comic book shop performing. I want to see what's going on, get a pulse on the industry, see what's happening. So I do have a subscription of books. Obviously, um, I just don't do haul videos because everyone will do them with the newer books. And, you know, the newer books, it's like, it's a hit or miss. Um, I, it, they go up and down for me. That's something I'm really, really enjoying. Another time they just take a turn. Uh, and I think they need to keep creators on a book for a long period of time like how it used to be. Not like, you know, every 34 issues, it seems like they're, they're switching up somebody. That's what it seems like anyway. Um, but anyway, I uh, hope everybody, like I said, hope everyone's doing great. And, um, and they're, and they're, uh, it doesn't last very long and everyone gets back to what they're doing. Um, so again, you know, if you want to take time, make a video, let us know what you're reading, what you're listening to, what are the things you're doing to keep yourself occupied during this time. Uh, I'd be, I'd be interested in, in, in hearing it. You know, I, I enjoy getting a snapshot of someone's life, particularly when it pertains to co collecting comics and records and toys and again, stuff in pop culture that we're, that we're so fond of, um, and if you need any suggestions, um, put in the comments some good stuff to read. I got a lot of stuff I can, I can su suggest. Um, you can't really go out and get them, I understand, but you might have it hidden in your collection somewhere and you never know. Well, anyway, you guys take care again. Thanks to Kyle Rowe um, for kind of like, you know, lighting the fuse to, uh, to have me do this video because he kind of, it wasn't a tag video or anything like that. He just talked about what he was doing, so I figured... Why not? Um, might be something different to do because obviously um, can't go into comic book conventions, which the last two conventions that are coming this area are 
canceled. So there was a big one here in town that got canceled, and the one in Virginia got canceled. So, um, you know, but luckily I got tons of back issues, and these books, like I said, I'm reading now, um, which is uh, which is great fun. Um, and I suggest those books to anyone who want to learn about the history of comic books. But hang in there, guys. It won't last forever. Um, there are generations who've been through worse than this. And they survived, and we can survive and do the same thing. So you guys take care, and I hope you read some good comments. And sub and like if you, if you want to do so. But I'd love to read the comments. You guys take care, and hang in there.